Yes, and welcome to another episode of Raxopathy. I thought we we would do one. I mean, because quite a few things have happened with Cyrax lately. Um, well, the same stuff, but new new episodes of the same stuff. Basically, he's back on kick. You know, his YouTube channel is still up, but not for long, being that uh, the videos on them are quite repulsive, especially the one where he is literally stoned, zooted, and just smashed off of his ass. Uh, literally high as a kite, like giraffe pussy. Um, Cyrix, I think that we can say that you are a tragedy, Humper. That's what I call you. When there is a tragedy, whether it happened or not, <laughs> and uh, I question it deeply, if it really even happened, uh, the man in the military, uh, and if you lied about that, Cyrex, which more than likely you did, you're despicable. And uh, now your friend Brandon, Brendan, whatever, um, who you were brothers with, it's always the same with you when talking about somebody, Cyrex. I've noticed that it don't matter, really, if the person's alive, if he's deceased, he's... It's, it's either one of two, one of two things. It's either he was my little brother, you know, he I guided him through life and taught him everything he knows, or I looked up to him. He taught me everything I know, and he's the one that gave me that never die attitude, never surrender, because Cyrex believes in his heart of hearts, which may be made of coal, but it's still there beating goblin blood just coagulating and that's why he's deteriorating he's almost like a a zombie but a living zombie but yet still undead but a living zombie his body functions as a zombie's body would it decays it chips away it slimes you know what i mean anyway cyrix um when you are faced with with a with a problem with something that could ruin you. I, I, I don't know how much more you can be ruined, but when you're faced with something that you might have to answer for, you try to deflect. You're almost like a politician. You bring up a tragedy, and even though it didn't happen to you, you'll somehow uh, make it about you. It's unbelievable. I mean, because I am sure the first thing on a father's mind, a mother's mind, when they've lost their child, and that child may have said hi to Cyrex a few times, the first thing on that person's mind, on those people, we need to call Cyrex, and we need to call him immediately. This is something he needs to know about because we need to make sure that he can make a stream about our loved one since he's so well known and for what he's well known for is is an, is admirable. So why not call Cyrex now? It's the first thing on our agenda. Now, you know what? Don't even put him in the ground yet. We need to call Cyrex. Cyrex, give me a break. I mean, you, first of all, have no friends. You, you always talk about how we're tired of this. We're all tired of the trolls. We're, really what you mean is you, yourself, and, and I. Uh, maybe Sally and the people in your head, I don't know. But no one is talking to you, Cyrex. Those who are, we, we, we know some of them, and the others are so clearly trolls, like keeping you on so they can be, continue being amused because, you know, life can get monotonous, and sometimes it's fun to watch a dumpster fire, and especially one with a goblin trapped inside of it. So... Cyrex, once again, um, what, it, what you have created is a shell of what could have been a human being's life in your own. And I don't really see you crawling out of this hole. Being that the only tool you seem to have is a shovel, and you're not digging yourself out. You're going deeper down. And uh, that shovel happens to be your peen, because it's everywhere. And it, it's everywhere. Every day I find a new picture, but it's not just your peen. It's your lies. It's your, it's your, your absolute, your disgusting, def, inflated ego for no reason. Deluded, but inflated. It's it's a double, it, 
I'm lost for words with your ego it, because a man that looks like you, who acts like you, who has the life you have, would not be on the internet exposing it. I mean, you talk about how you, you're being stalked and everything. How are you being stalked? How? If you you put everything on online, Cyrix, if you want to be left alone, just leave. Get a job. And once again, we have to say this very clearly. When we mean get a job, we mean off the internet. Get a job, you know, cleaning up. You want to get an after hours job because, you know, you don't want to get a job in a restaurant where you could be off putting to the guests. Get, a, get like a janitorial job where you're working at a mall that's closed down after hours. You could clean the floors and there are products there that may splash on you and uh, they're industrial cleaners because at this point, I think that's the only thing that's going to work. And uh, in that way, at least your family doesn't have to smell you. I mean, it's they'll still have to hear you, but at least they won't have to hear you and smell you. That's some, some advice for you, Cyrex. All right, I will leave you all with this. The goblin will remain online. It doesn't matter how many times he gets booted, he says. Well, Cyrex, that may be true, but here's what you have to understand. Every time you're booted, you have to start over. You're never going to be able to succeed that way. And that's our plan. Have a good day. Ah, yes.